Hello there, my name is Funi of Hoxagon and today I wanted to make a short tutorial to teach you how you can customize your new Minecraft launcher. Now, you know that if you go into the installations tab really quickly, you can see that you've got all the versions that you have installed, including the one that the ones that are not official. Now you can see that uh, I've got a bunch of different blocks for these. I want to make them quite organized so that I can easily find them just not, not just looking at the name. Now usually to make this diff this special block you click on it and you he see here edit installation. If you go into this corner you can see that if you click you've got a bunch of different options but there aren't too many blocks like I can see a lot of potential in all these blocks but I think that uh, you need a little more customization so of course you can use any of these but also what I've decided what you can see here if you click this plus button you can see that you can choose one that already exists uh, the files that you can use here are 100 and 128 by 128 pixel images and I think they're supposed to be um, PNGs otherwise it wouldn't work and you can use any any file that is a PNG and is the correct size and what I decided to do as you can see around here is make custom icons for some of the installations now I, I can see that this 1.11 one here is kind of outdated and I want to make a new one now of course first we all know that in 1.11 totems of undying were added alright let's just get that straight out of the way so to make that this one is not the correct size because if you take them from uh, the minecraft the official minecraft wiki they're gonna be 150 pixels 150. So what I recommend is you're gonna no not open. Sorry. You're gonna click new. I'm gonna make it here 128. 128. Doesn't really matter anything. Just click create. Now you're gonna take your totem here. Of course it's gonna be too big, you can get rid of the background. Align it perfectly and then Command T and size it properly. Without holding shift of course. Now I don't really know exactly but you can just just about center it. Click file Save as. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it as one one dot eleven dot psd. Now we're gonna just just as a little fun thing. I'm just gonna save it in a special folder that I've got all of my. Where is it? Here I'm just, I just got one of these folders where I got all the little icons. Click save. Now I did save it as a PSD. We're also gonna save it as a still here as a PNG. And then we can go into the new launcher. Go here and click select new go to that folder that you've got and here it is now we got this now to improve to add on this um, idea you can make custom ones which represent the certain version of Minecraft with special stuff added like I can, you can see here that I've got 1.7.10 forge added a forge logo then we got the fabric 1.14 and add the fabric logo and the Optifine logo here and just to show you that I've got this logo here 
and move it to this perfectly put it in the corner Same as as a PNG forge and then we can go into the game and add the ones here forge and this one here and there you go we got the 1.11 you can see that I got here the terracotta that you can find officially and also made a custom one for the forge version use water here there are plenty of blocks now I didn't do custom stuff for every version although redstone block I'm pretty sure it did not come out in 1.5.2 uh, this is just ice sadly but for the forge version I did use packed ice you can see that I got here Purper for 1.9 and also you can do fun stuff like these three right here also use the volume beta icon for the beta versions that I got installed as you can see here I've got the uh, love wither for the love and hugs update the, the um, what was it called April Fools you can see that I got the 3D here, get yeah, the 3D item from Minecraft 3D. Uh, this year's April Fools and this USB charger block from the Trinity update. All three of these are April Fools, if you didn't notice already. I just uh, downloaded them from. Actually, I couldn't find this one. I actually had to uh, find it somewhere else on the on a heads. Uh, what is it called? Head creator website. I had to go find it. But these two are taken, and all of the rest are taken from the Minecraft wiki. And yeah, I actually went. Also, you can see that I didn't perfect. I didn't perfect all of them. Like this is clearly bigger than this one. It's slightly different. You can see minor size differences. But, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, this is it for this short. If you want to see all of the ones that I made, you can check them out here. Also made a post on Reddit, by the way, but it's not important. So, yeah, this is how to customize your uh, Minecraft launcher. Of course, they will show up here exactly the same. Also, by the way, the ice... Since it's a PNG, it's transparent, which is cool. I love that feature. Yeah, you can see that we have the Totem of Undyne here now. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this short uh, tutorial on how to create custom icons for your new launcher. I'm not sure if it was possible in the previous launcher, but eh, it doesn't matter now <laughs> because we got this new launcher. So... Yeah, again, thank you uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.